And now my work here is done. Superhero Lizzie flies away. Hey guys, what's up? Ellie Shine Lady here and welcome back to Funcraft. Last episode we tamed these wild animal girls and we brought them back here to add to our animal village. So first of all we have the fennec fox girl that we found in a desert. So after a million of you guys suggested it, I built her a sand temple. Let's just push her inside. Now I'm actually kind of jealous of the decor in here because she has this adorable mini chest that holds one item. How cute is that? I might have to make some of those for myself because I am super jealous. But next I'm going to show you what I built for our little alpaca friend. Somebody told me I should build a pinata for a house and so I did. This is not the best angle to be viewing it from but I promise you it looked really cute when I was building it. As you can see it's very rainbowy and a little bit crazy looking. My favourite part of the pinata is probably the tail. I used a bunch of banners to make it look like a pinata tail and of course the inside is all rainbowy too. So thank you guys for leaving your suggestions in the comments last time. As always, there were some amazing ideas, certainly much better than anything I could come up with. So now that we have all of our animal girls homed, I have something cool to show you. So just beside my house here, we now have a path directly to spawn, which is made of concrete, so it makes your journey a little bit faster. But if I use the chicken pet, I move at the speed of light. Look how crazy this is. This is so convenient. And here we are already. So the main spawn area is just up here, but down here there is a new little market area that I've put in for everybody to use. And this entire market just sells decorative heads. Each one of them costs one gold ingot. And we have all kinds of things. We've got colors, we've got food items. Over here we have all of the players on the server and some random characters like Dogue and Magikarp. And then back here, we have all of the Minecraft mobs. And finally, my favorite section, the decor section. This is for decorating your house. So we've got loads of books, potted plants, presents, lanterns. This is my favorite, a little piggy bank, mailboxes, computers and TV screens, even a golden toaster. And I kind of want to buy everything, but I don't have 500 gold ingots. I just realized I forgot to bring my gold with me. So I've just got to zoom home real quick. I think I have quite a lot of gold, but I don't want to use it all on decorative heads. So now I have 11 gold ingots to spend. What shall I buy? So first of all, I'm going to get the piggy bank. It's just too adorable. And then maybe I'm also going to get this adorable chicken unicorn plushie thing. Apparently it's a unicorn. Oh, I also want a mailbox. Should I get the silver, blue, or pink? I'm gonna go for the silver. And I'm also going to get some of these potted plants. <gasps> There's a Hello Kitty one. Okay, I'm gonna get this. And well, duh, of course I'm gonna get Stitch. And then I should probably stop spending my money right after I buy a lemon and a donut. And another donut. Well, I only have one gold left now. I might as well use it. Maybe I should buy a player head. It would be kind of nice to have Joel's decapitated head lying around. All right, so that's it. That's all my money gone. But at least we have a load of new shiny things now to decorate my house with. Where was there a meow? What the heck is going on down there? Can somebody explain? What is this? A wither witch? Oh my gosh. I have made a terrible mistake coming down here. Oh no, the cat is evil. Oh, I'm gonna die in here. Oh, remind me never to investigate weird noises ever again. That was clearly a mistake. I'm just gonna leave them living under the path forever. So I'm gonna put the piggy bank beside my bed instead of this creeper head. I think it looks absolutely perfect there. And let's put the pink unicorn down on the floor there. And I'm gonna put Stitch's head on one of these. And Hello Kitty's head as well. Creepy, very, very creepy. Let's add to the creepiness and put Joel's head there too. And these potted plants could maybe go on here. That looks kind of cute. Man, we need more of those. Now the rest of this stuff is food. So I think this should go in the kitchen. <gasps> Oh, just put a lemon on the floor there, why not? We should put the donut on top of this furnace. Yeah, it's delicious. And we've got a white donut as well. 
Just leave that in the middle of the floor? No, that's weird. Don't do that. Five second rule, it's still fine to eat. I'm gonna put the mailbox outside on a little fence post. This is adorable. Oh, it's so cute, but it's not actually functional. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Hey, get out of my house, sir. Or whatever. I remembered how strong these guys are. What is that up there? I'm just gonna put my armor on because there's somebody over there. I'm kind of freaked out. I feel like I need to call the neighborhood watch to come and help me. Oh, <gasps> it's coming towards me. Wait. Oh, it's spitting at me! <gasps> what the heck? That is disgusting, man. What's wrong with his arms? Oh! Well, those are some very strange noises. <gasps> He's laid on the ground twitching! Oh my gosh! What the heck? He's still going! He's not even dead yet. What's going on? Well, that was really weird. You saw that, right, man? Oh no! He saw everything. He's not happy that I murdered a man. Woo! That didn't go well. Should I even try and kill him? I just wanted to put a mailbox down and I just murdered two people. That didn't need to happen. So we're almost done in here now, but I just wanted to rearrange this room slightly to make way for more shelving. So now we can fit more hat stands in for when we eventually get more hats, because there are a lot of hats in this mod pack. And I want to collect them all. For now, we can just put the donut there. But we definitely need a carpet in the middle there. Now, I've been inspired a little bit by the crazy pinata that I built. So I really want to use these bright colors. It might look a little bit hideous, but bright colors make me happy. Now, I think to match this crazy colorful carpet, we need some crazy colorful fairy lights up in here. Okay, there we go. Three strings. <gasps> Cute. Okay, I like it. I'm in love with the rainbow. This is gonna look amazing when we have all of the hats. But first, the thing I wanna do today is actually craft some wings so that I can fly around the server. Because some of my friends have wings and I do not. There are many kinds of wings that you can have in this world. For example, I really want these butterfly wings. Or these butterfly wings. All these fire wings. I will take any wings, really. I just really want them. But first, we need to find some fairy dust, which is from an ore. So let's go and find a nice new cave to go and get some fairy dust ore from. Aha! A cave! Hang on. <laughs> is, that the, is that what I'm looking for? What? I think I might have found what I'm looking for already. Is this fairy dust ore? Oh! <gasps> It is, I am really lucky. Okay, I don't even have to go down into the scary cave. Okay, well that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Let's make sure that we have enough. Oh, we only need one piece. We could actually make like six of these wings. We could make all of these wings. So I guess let's check that we have everything we need. We need ink sacks and lapis. So I'm gonna need to kill a squid and there's a squid. Today is my lucky day. I'm just finding everything I need right in front of me. Oh, dang it, can't see the squid. I'm blind down here. Whoa, he blinded me. Okay, I got one ink sack and a squid beak, of course. Didn't even know squids had beaks. Okay, never mind. I take back what I said about being lucky. The sun is going down and I am nowhere near home. This is probably how I die. <gasps> What's that? A wither cat? Oh, heck no. Why is it so big? What is wrong with it? Stay away from me, demon cat. Oh, oh no. There are so many bad things. No! Dang it! Oh, thank goodness. The wither cats went away. I am going to run directly home and craft myself some wings so I can fly away from danger in the future. Now. We should be able to craft them now. <gasps> I'm so excited. So we can put them on our back. <gasps> I am beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at them flutter. These are so cute. I'm gonna go and show Ollie my new wings and terrify him. Here we go. Go. <gasps> yeah, oh my gosh, I'm a failure. Yes, I'm flying. I'm like a really derpy Tinkerbell. I haven't quite mastered flight yet. How do I land? Oh my gosh. Oh, well. Now, where the heck is Ollie? Is he in his house? Uh-oh. I'm so glad that nobody can see me right now, except for all of you guys. He's not in here. He must be at spawn. Off I go. Okay, Ollie is apparently in danger and we need to help him. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> 
I think he wants me to save him from this Topilek that is currently trying to hug him to death. Oh my gosh. Now this one's going to get me. Imagine if we both get stuck. Hopefully, since now it's not in water, it will drown. It does not appear to be drowning. I'm kind of scared to use my sword in case I hit Ollie. <gasps> Whoa, it's dying. Look at its life wither away. And now I wish we could kill this one too. Just for fun. Goodbye, Topilek. Ha! He dropped fish! And now my work here is done. Superhero Lizzie flies away. Look at Ollie walking around like a peasant while I swoop through the air like a clumsy bird. But I look really cool though. Now that I've saved the day, let's head back home. I'm gonna try fly through my door. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, so actually speaking of houses and decorating, there are a bunch of other players on this server. So now that I have my wings and I can get around so easily, I think this would be a perfect time to go and tour around the server, visiting everybody's homes, deciding whose is the best, and leaving little housewarming gifts. So, so obviously as you guys know, Joel lives over here and he's got this beautiful house. I have a beautiful painting that I think he would love. So I'm going to put it right here on this wall. Ta-da! I think he will love it. What better way to welcome people to the neighborhood than a thoughtful portrait of their face? And I'm going to sleep in his very oddly placed bed. Now let's get out of here and Santa the next person. So across the way here, we've got Scott's house. Isn't it beautiful? I think he needs a really beautiful gift to go with it. Oh my gosh. Dr. Foghorn, what are you doing in here? Right, I know exactly what I'm going to give Scott as a gift. I'm going to leave it over here by his crafting tables. Yes, that's right. A bunch of fish just lying around and a sign. So he knows that these lovely gifts are from me. Now on to the next victim. I mean, recipient of gifts. Whoa, what's this? Oh, <gasps> is this Lauren's new house? Lauren's Funtime Pastel Rave Coliseum. So obviously guys, we have a new player on this server. Lauren has just joined Funcraft, so make sure you go and check out her channel and give her a nice warm welcome to Funcraft, just like I am about to do, with a gift. So I'm gonna leave Lauren this beautiful SpongeBob painting, which I think fits in perfectly in her home. And now we move on. Back over this way is Yami's beautiful rainbow house. So I think she needs a beautiful rainbow gift. And I imagine that she will particularly enjoy this one. It's a painting and it's beautiful. Wait, it kind of looks a little bit like Yami with the purple hair. I hope this doesn't offend her, but I guess we'll find out very soon. Now we're heading back over this direction to leave a gift for Ollie at the Panda Palace. I think Ollie would appreciate a bunch of carrots. That is by far the best gift that I have left today. You are welcome for the kawaii carrots, Ollie. Now let's move on and spread the magic elsewhere. This time I'm heading over to CPK's house. It's very orange, so I think these fairy lights would be perfect. It was looking a little bit evil in here. It needed to look more magical. Now let's get out of here before something evil happens. And over here is Kyle's house. This looks so cool. So I'm going to leave Kyle a creep ahead to welcome him to the neighborhood. So I believe that we've now gifted everyone who has a house on the server, but we do have a couple of players on the server who don't have a house yet. So when Joey and Megan finally build their houses, I will leave them a housewarming gift too. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Funcraft. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments which one of my friends you think has the best house. And I will see you next time.